What's going on? We're back for another amazing episode of the Innovator Hour. You know I got the best interviews right here, man. What up? I got my boy, pretty boy P in the studio. What's poppin'? What's going on, man? Us never dim. How you doing? I'm good, man. Feel me? Getting through this corona shit. Hell yeah. Before we get into it, can you let the people know where where you're from, where they can find you on social media? I was born in North Carolina, but you know, I came to the West Coast. When I was like 16, San Diego to be exact, but I'm all over the West. You feel me? I live in uh, Vegas now, but you can find me on Instagram, Pretty Boy, Pretty Boy P, P R E D D Y B O Y P, Twitter, Pretty Boy P, and that's really what I got going on as far as my music. You feel me? Hell yeah! So just to start off, can you tell me how you feel about the coronavirus? <clears throat> man, I believe in God, man. You know, I just feel like. As long as the niggas stay prayed up, we're going to be all right. But as far as it, I don't know if it's something bigger than what we think it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think it's smoke mirrors, but, you know. We How, how's it affecting your grind? I mean, it, it it has affected, but, you know, i still been doing features. Like, I'm out here in L.A. now knocking out features, videos. So I'm still doing my little independent thing. Yeah. How do you think it will affect? music the music industry moving forward like as far as shows you think that's gonna really fuck up niggas money and shit or i i I think it's gonna um turn over to the internet for sure streaming yeah you know a lot more private yeah yeah for sure so let me tell me when did you start getting into music i started in 2013 i took it serious in like 2016 though okay you know was it that like that uh, that flipped the switch like let me take this shit serious now when I started seeing I could make some money for it, yeah. from it, from it yeah. you know what I mean? Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I can change my life and get out the streets for real if I really go hard. Yeah. Was there something that inspired you to start making music originally, or what was it that even kind of piqued the interest? When I was younger, I just wanted to do that, you feel me? Yeah. Looked up to people like Dipset, you know what I mean, Jeezy, yeah. you know what I mean, shit like that, 50 Cent. I just see myself as that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nah, that's tight. Nah, I fuck with it. I feel like uh, everybody has a different reason why they got why they got into it. So I, it's right. always interesting to uh, to figure out. Do you remember the first song that you made? Um, the first song I started writing was a song called "Streets Taught Me." Yeah. I wrote the first verse in like t- two thousand and ten. Yeah. And you know what I mean? I dropped my first CD and I'm like, something missing. Yeah. And I remember I remember that verse, you know what I mean? Word for word. Yeah. And I went on and put it on the end of the tape. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you first started making music, uh, what was the reaction like? Was niggas like encouraging you? Was niggas like, nah, don't do it? Everybody <laughs> rap? Like, how, how was it? I mean, people wouldn't really, you know, they ain't gonna really go for it until you really believe in into, in, into yourself, but... You know, I went home to my hood and shot a big old video cookout and everything. Oh, shit. And they, then they started, you know what I mean, going That's behind me and is. shit. That's how it be, though. <laughs> Once niggas see that you actually serious, they'll be like, yeah. all right, well, if he's serious, yeah. let me fuck with him. For sure. <laughs> what music did you grow up listening to? Man, like I said, the Dipsets, the Jeezys. Yeah. You know what I mean? 3-6 Mafia, 50 Cent. You know, I'm that era bone thugs, you yeah. feel me? Shit yeah. like that. What is your relationship with uh with Filthy Rich? I see that you're you on F O D entertainment. Yeah, that, that's yeah. bro, man. You yeah. feel me? He kinda like laced my boots with like getting money like legally. Yeah. With the music. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I own for that, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, most okay. utmost respect. Would you say he's like been a mentor in a sense or Yeah, for sure. Okay, yeah. 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 Nah, I think it's dope because I feel like, uh, I mean, we mean Filthy been knocking out a lot of content, but I feel like it's dope that you were saying that he's like a mentor and shit because I feel like it's, it's so much, he controversial, so niggas right. say this, niggas say that, right. but to you, he's been a mentor and someone to help help you in the music game and make money. For sure. So I feel like I, I fuck with that for sure. What is your process like for selecting beats and working on lyrics for your songs? It it depends on, you know what I mean, the producers I'm working with, you feel me? But I just know automatically if I'm feeling it, I can just go straight into the booth and get up on that thing. Freestyle. Yeah, okay. I can most of the time. How how long does it take you to know if you're fucking with the beat, though? I mean, the more you do something, the better you get at it. So I know instantly if I'm feeling it. Like, I might get a beat pack in my email here. 
But if I get in the booth, it yeah. might sound different. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 it sounds different. Yeah. Is there any producers that you're really rocking with right now? Hard Knock Beats. I'm fucking with him. You know what I mean? That's like one of my number ones. Monty Fago, F- Fuego. Yeah. He's out of Las Vegas. Both of them, too. Yeah. I'm fucking with them heavy. Yeah. Let's talk about the new project out right now, Everything Pretty. What was the mindset when you was creating that song? Man, it's just everything all in one. I touched so many different avenues from what I got going on from beginning to end. So yeah. I call it everything. My name Pretty Boy. Yeah. So I just call it everything pretty. Yeah. You know what I mean? How did you come up with your name? My big homie. Yeah. You feel me? His his name was Big Pretty. Yeah. They called me Lil Pretty. So yeah. I named my rap name Pretty Boy. Yeah. You know oh, what I mean? Right. So. Do you have a favorite song on the on the project? I can't really say a favorite, but my my um my the song I like the most that mean the most is pray. Yeah. Cause I get in depth with what's going on. Yeah. You feel me? I get deep, but as far as like what's happening, the song you playing with me and laugh and yeah. feel. Yeah, I was that's my shit. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> I heard I heard you I bumping was in the that. Club yeah. Like this shit. I was there like, yeah, that, that, that shit hard. Yeah. <laughs> now nah, that's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, when you putting a project together like what is it like? You making fifty songs? You making twenty songs? Like how how is that process? Or would you, did you go into it knowing you that you was trying to put the project together? Or are you just I, recording? My work ethic, like bro, like he done pushed me to the point where I just be working it. I don't really put no songs together. I put them in order. You yeah. feel me? From how I recorded it, and I just put it out. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Nah, fuck with that. Can we expect another project? Yeah, for sure. Okay. I'm probably drop June. Okay. We got I mean, a name, but what can, what can you I'm, let me I'm know a, right I, now? I, I got um I got the What I Say series. You know yeah. what I mean? I'm on part two. I was either going to do What I Say three, or I was going to start a paid in full series. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's going to be paid in full or What I Say volume three. Yeah. What would you say has changed the most from like everything pretty to like your first projects when you was like 2015, I was seeing? Consistency and comfortability. Yeah. You know, I'm more comfortable when I get up in that thing. And how and, and you just get more comfortable from doing it more consistently. Yeah, for sure, okay, for sure. Yeah. Would can you tell me about um, a surreal moment you've had so far in your music career? A surreal moment. Yeah. Probably when uh, the song I did with Jim Jones. Yeah. You know, uh, it's called Scanners. I actually recorded him. His verse for real, yeah. Oh, so that's crazy. That was that was a dope moment for me. Yeah. yeah. Now, can you tell me about say a challenging obstacle that you had in your career and how did you overcome that? A challenging obstacle, putting out more music. You know what I mean. Not being lazy, making myself work harder. What was it that was making the that part challenging? Not seeing no profit, you feel me? Like, damn, you know what I mean? Okay, I got you. Keep putting money in. I'm putting money in. I'm, money I'm going hard, and I'm like, man, when is it going to really get better? But, yeah. you know, you got to stay down for your come up, you feel me? Yeah, long times for sure. What is your favorite food spot right now? I'm plant-based. Really? Yeah, I don't eat meat. So how long you been How long you been doing that? I'm going to be like three years. Wow. Yeah. Do you... How, how does it, if you feel good, you feel great? Yeah, like, I feel good, for <laughs> sure. I feel hella What's the good. biggest spot you fuck with right now? Man, sh- it's so many of them. I, I mean, Veggie Grill's cool. Yeah. It, it just depends on what city you in. It's different ones, you Do know you what I mean? Meat? I might miss seafood, but, yeah. you know, I don't miss meat. Okay, yeah. shit. Also, I haven't went pescatarian for a while. Right. But then I felt like. I was craving hamburgers. Like, yeah. I don't know why. I, don't I know mean, why. they got they got Impossible Burgers, oh, Beyond yeah, you Burgers. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Sure, so sure. I guess you're right though, because I mean they got substitutes for pretty much everything. They yeah, got chicken, it take and, chicken, everything. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> but does the chicken taste like chicken to you? I mean, I guess we be so hungry and missing it be <laughs> tasting good. You feel me? I feel like I had a homegirl who was vegan, and she basically said that she hadn't eaten chicken in so long. That she didn't really remember the taste, but right. that was kind of like the, the 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 chicken that was vegan was kind of the closest thing to it. Right. So she's like, "Well, this is what I think it tastes like." I now. mean, shit. Now it tastes like chicken. You feel yeah. me? I ain't ate it so long. You feel me? <laughs> long time. Who do you want to work with? 
who the I want to work with. Yeah. Man, I it's so many different artists I work with. Man, I I would definitely work with Boosie. I came up off of Boosie. Um, I would like to work with. I done did so many features. Who I would like to work with? I I would like to work with Lil Baby. Yeah. He go crazy going yeah. right there for sure. The baby, because he's from North Carolina too. Yeah. You know what I mean? Money bag, yo, he's hard. Yeah. You know, money man's cool. I'd rather work with somebody that's that I can see eye to eye with for sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? I could vibe with. No, I'm sorry. Nah, I, I can I fuck with that heavy. I like to ask everyone who comes on my show this question. If you could pick yourself to be any animal in the world, what would it be and why? An uh, animal? Yeah. A shark. That's mine, too. Yeah. <laughs> I said, I don't want motherfuckers trying to eat me Yeah, up. I, 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 I a shark. Yeah, for sure. No, t- what advice can you give to independent artists? Um, Get out of your comfort zone. Network with artists. As in, reach out to other people in different places. Stay consistent. Don't wait on nobody. Yeah. How hard is it for somebody to get out of their comfort zone, though? I feel like it's like most niggas, if you, if niggas you are, is half-stepping on doing if, that a lot if of you, If you ain't a social person, it's going to be hard. You know what I mean? But, you know, I, the earth my turf. I've been out here moving and grooving for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> In this new era of music, we see a lot of motherfuckers who's doing shit for clout chasing purposes and social media shit. How do you... Stay out of that. Because I feel like it's only going to last for so long. If yeah. you be real, I mean, that shit forever. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, I'm sorry. When did you get your first chain? I see you, you iced out. Man, I've been what having first jury. <laughs> my first chain? My first chain was in high school. I actually beat somebody up and took it. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> that was my first chain. Yeah. But... First chain I cashed out for, probably in like 2009. Yeah. yeah I had a gold, I had a gold Jesus piece. You have a favorite chain now? A favorite As chain? The ones you rocking? Do they all, they all busting? I up. mean, this, this is my brand, the Trap Fiend. Yeah. But, you know, my no BFE one, I got that one first, but I think my P is, because yeah, that's, that's what, that, that represent me. Hell yeah, you know what type what of watch is that? Rolly bust down. That shit bust, that shit Pretty shiny. Sad. Pretty sad. <laughs> Not all times. <laughs> How would you describe your sound? I think I'm a little bit south with a little bit of west. You know, I got a lot of different influences, yeah. you know what I mean? So I think I'm mixed in yeah. with, with the trap and the west coast shit. Hell yeah. A lot of people say I'm like the new Too Short. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that before. <laughs> I was getting those with, vibes on there. I, I fuck with that record. You got some records on there I'm fucking with. I'm like, yeah. okay, gas. I like the record with uh, like Ruchi a, too. Right, yeah, right. That shit was going crazy. For sure that. Appreciate. What is something that most people don't know about you? Most people don't know about me. That I'm originally from North Carolina. They think I'm I'm so tied in with West Coast. They think I'm from the Bay and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm but so first, tied I was in. thinking, I said he might be from the Bay, but I was, yeah, like, yeah, I, was yeah. like, I really don't know. Yeah, I was born in North Carolina. I was born in the South, but yeah. you know who I'm tied in with. They think I'm from the Bay yeah, and shit. Yeah, for sure. High move and shit. You feel me? <laughs> no, uh, what is a place you want to travel to? I just came back from Paris, France, but really? I want to go to Dubai. Yeah. I was supposed to go to Singapore right before this co- uh, closed down. How was Paris? Man, that shit was lovely. It you was went just, to Amsterdam, is Amsterdam near Paris or not? Nah? I don't know. I ain't for sure. I ain't really like geography. I don't yeah. know the map, yeah. but I'm pretty sure it's close somewhere around there. What but, was you doing out there? Like just, just chilling, I, visiting shit? Man, I, I went for Thanksgiving. You know what, what? I mean? It, it was like, I don't eat meat. So yes. I was like, I'm going to go travel. You yeah. feel me? I don't want no turkey I've heard that shit. before. <laughs> you feel me? So I went out there. I shot a video out there. I got out in this, you know, I ain't scared to go nowhere. I done been in Jamaica. I'm going to go in the city. Oh, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, See yeah. what's going on. So it was cool. I, I fuck with that. What is the biggest lesson you've learned so far in the music industry? Everybody ain't who they say they is on these beats. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of fake shit. And how do you feel about people who don't write their lyrics? You ain't yourself. <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't uh... 
I can't. I mean, I respect anybody getting money, but I don't respect anybody that's lying. Yeah. I I, I just had brought this up to Filthy, uh, but I was asking him how he feel about in the Bay. I'm seeing, like, a lot of niggas who rap, but they, like, rapping about pimping, but they ain't never pimped before. Oh, man. He's a simp, <laughs> man. He's a square. You dig? <laughs> I'm like, bro, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, nigga, if you really live that life, I respect it, but if niggas know you never did yeah. that and you trying to sell us these Man, image, that bro, nigga over there tricking. You got to go to a whole new shit. state to push yeah, that. Yeah, sir. He tricking. Do you believe artists can do the independent thing or do you believe that an artist, if he wants to really blow up crazy, he needs a record label? It depends on what you mean by blowing up crazy. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can have hood fame, then you can have mainstream fame. But, I mean, to go to that next level, you need some kind of backing, I think. Yeah. No, I'm tired. Not for sure. Uh, what is your favorite clothing line right now? I, feel, I like all designer. I ain't really got no favorite. I mean, I like Gucci, Louis. You know what I mean? Yeah. Same shit. You smoke weed? You have a favorite weed? Nah, you I don't smoke oh. weed. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. Right, I, sure. I, I sip, though. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. For my final question, I want to ask you, what advice can you give to someone who's trying to get into making music? <clears throat> Do that shit. Don't wait on nobody. Get your YouTube channel and get the pushing. I see a lot of people using World Star and shit like that. You ain't gonna get paid for that shit. You feel me? People don't. You said people don't. They don't. Nah, you don't get. You don't get paid off of shit like that. Get your distribution. Get your little distribution deal. And push. Yeah. How much does someone expect their friend to support them? You got to support yourself, worry about yourself, you feel me? I don't really, if somebody support me, cool, but I'm going to do me, you know what I mean? I ain't, I'm not looking out for no handouts, none of that shit, but if a friend do, that's cool, you feel me? Yeah. Don't depend on nobody. Yeah, nah, yeah. I like that too, I feel yeah. like, you feel me? That, sometimes that shit up, fuck your shit up or slow you down yeah. to a whole other level. You sitting there, you on somebody else's time, yeah. you feel me? I hate. That's one thing I do hate. I hate like if 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 some shit that I need to get done can't get done because of somebody else. Right. I'd be like, bro, let me figure out what the fuck I need to do so I can just do it myself. Right. For sure. You have any final words for the people watching? Go get that everything pretty. Yeah. You feel me? Go subscribe to my YouTube channel, YouTube channel, Pretty Boy P at YouTube. And some things is for a season, not a lifetime. Yeah. You know what I mean? Lifetime. Pretty boy P, I appreciate you. I appreciate you.